Welcome back to 242 Mad. I am your host, Raphael Thompson, and today we're looking at mathematical concepts test two, grade six. Question one Arrange the numbers one, three, and six to make the smallest odd number possible. Let's go, grade six. The timer is off and running. You have to beat it. Remember, we want the smallest odd number possible. You should be wrapping up question one. Move on to question two. Write the do dollar amount in the blue box in words on the blue line shown on the check. You should know how to fill out a check. Grade six. The timer is off and running. You need to get cracking on this one because you have to write the words to show the amount shown there in dollars and cents. And you should be finishing off question two, question three. Continue the pattern and write the next equation in the rectangular number pattern to complete it. Don't get confused or worried because of those big terms. Rectangular numbers, you don't even know, need to know what they are. Look at the patterns and complete it. Then you would get it. It's easy. Just look at it and complete it. You should be wrapping up question three. Now we move on to question four. Place the symbol in the following to compare the groups of numbers. I won't call them for you. You have A to do and then B. Place the correct symbol there to make each statement true. The timer is off and running, guys. Get cracking. Let's see if you can get this done. You should know what those symbols mean. You should be finishing question four now. Question five, use the picture to answer the following questions. A, write the fraction that the picture represents. B, write the decimal that the picture shows. And C, write the percentage that the picture demonstrates. Three parts to this question, but they can be easily done. Grade six, I have faith in you. You can get this done. Wrap up that question now. We move on to question six. A, fill in the missing fractions to complete the number sentence. And then B, express three and a half as an improper fraction. Yeah, fractions, grade six. Let's see how you handle these. You should be wrapping up that question, question seven. Complete the following table for the given shape. Give the number of faces, give the number of edges, and give the number of vertices. You must know what faces, edges, and vertices mean, what those three times refer to. Count them up, count up what you need to count up, put your numbers in. Get cracking, grade six. Wrap it up. We move on to question eight. Use the map to answer the following questions. A, which road intersects with Bay Street? B, name two roads that are perpendicular to each other. Yeah, there's a big word in there, perpendicular. You must know what it means. Just look at the drawings and figure it out. You should be wrapping up question eight and we move on to question nine. Use the pictures to answer the following questions. A, write the ratio of crabs to sailboats and B, write the ratio of sailboats to both crabs and sailboats. Ratio question. Let's see how you handle this, grade six. One more question and that would be it for test two. And question 10, write an expression to show the area of this rectangle and the rectangle measures 3 centimeters by X centimeters. Write an expression to show the area. One simple step. And once you write your answer properly, you got it. Grade 6. And you know what's coming up now, answers. Let's see how many you got correct. Grade six, get ready to mark. Question one, you have to write it. The smallest odd number is one, six, three. That's the only way you can write that. Got it? 
good. Question two, 2,304 and 2,500 dollars. That's how you have to write that, grade six. Question three, it's three times four. The dots must be there and then three times four is 12. That's it. You don't even need to know what rectangular numbers are. Question four, A is greater than and then B is equal to. No matter how many zeros you put, it would be equal to. Got it? Question five, 35 hundredths, A and then B is 0 0.35 and C is 35%. That's question five done. Question six, the missing fraction is three fifths and then as an improper fraction is seven, seven halves, seven and two on the bottom. Complete the following table for the given shape. Number of faces is six, number of edges is 12, number of vertices is eight. Got it. And question eight, which road intersects with Bay Street, Blue Hill Road, and then Blue Hill Road and Wolf Road are perpendicular to each other. They meet at a right angle. Question nine, ratio two to three or two to three, two ways to write it, or three to five or three to five, two ways to, to write that for question nine. Any of those is correct. And area, three X centimeters squared. So three X square centimeters, that's how you have to write it. And you must put square units. Got it? Hope you got 10 out of 10. That's it for test two concept of numbers grade six. I will see you in the next one.